What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to another video. All my OGs. Do you all remember my how to MVP video? Well, we are going to be doing another one since you all seem to enjoy that one. So two months later, we have our second video in our series. Here are five unethical tips to MVP in Behemoth by the stunning No Edit Andy. All right, number one, do not atro on first head break. Head, you thought I was gonna say first wing, right? Well, nope. You only have three atros to use during the raid. They are too precious to be using to help with wings, first of all. So why not the head? This is because the way Behemoth works is that when you first break everything, Behemoth's big ass head won't be broken. So you have to break it first before you can get the amplified damage. What does this all mean? This means at first head break, you have the least amount of time to do damage on the head. Don't waste your atros for like a three second DPS window. That is a massive waste. So instead, when should you do it? You should use one at the second break and another at the third break. This is because now the head will be destroyed and you can instantly pop your burst and it's a longer DPS window. And then finally, the last atropine you should use is obviously for the last phase, assuming you did the stagger mech correctly. This way, you use your atropines during the best burst windows where you have the most amount of time to do damage. Now you can laugh at all the peasants who atro at wings or first head break because you know they will never MVP. That MVP is yours. Number two. Die before any big burst phases. We all have Nightmare and Dominion set enjoyers to thank for this one. Those suckers at Smilegate did a really good job thinking about Nightmare and Dominion when implementing Awakening resets upon revive for Behemoth, since otherwise the set is useless. You die, and now you are with no set for a long time. So it's definitely something that needed to be implemented. Well, implemented. <laughs> but as always, there has to be some goblins that abuse every inch that they can get. So since you can reset your awakening after respawning, you should try to die before any big burst phases. This can be before second head break, the third head break, or even during the last phase. You do need to make sure, though, that you are doing it discreetly and to not abuse this too much because, you know, people will notice. And especially when a lot of people are dying in your party, you will have to reset more often and it's just not worth it at that point. You could also get kicked. So if you really had to choose maybe one or two intentional deaths, I would definitely choose either the second head break or the third head break because that's where the DPS windows are the longest. Number three, put puddle on the maximum number of people. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, in case people weren't aware, there is a target that spawns randomly on people indicating that they will be dropping a puddle on their foot or feet. It also says, puddle so it's pretty obvious unfortunately with how disgusting behemoth visual clutter is it makes sense that this could go unnoticed for a lot of people so this tip is technically already being done by the oblivious ones but you're a smarty pants the genius of the group the deserver of the cruel fighter mvp so if you have the puddle on you and it's about to drop, make sure to put it on the most crowded area so that the most amount of people can get hit by this. This will reduce their stacks 
which is a reduction of their damage. Since you are leaving the area after dropping it, you won't be hit, and you can happily continue to hit the boss with your X45 stacks. Number four, selflessly volunteer to do close for Tornado Mech. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the X3 or X3 plus one mech where you assign positions either close to be closest to the boss and you get that whirlwind thingy or whatever, that purple thing, and far to be the one baiting the line from farther away. You all know what I'm talking about now? You always want to call close because that is how you can continue to hit the boss while all the other peasants have to pick up tornadoes and worry about dropping their little stacks above their mana bar before picking up another one. You are the cruel fighter MVP. You should not be doing any mechs. Now, to put it into an analogy sense, does the king bathe himself? Does the king cook for himself? Does the king dress himself? No. So why should you? You are the king of that lobby. Act your part. And finally, number five, aim for the head. Now, this is less of an unethical tip and more of a real tip, actually. There are various patterns where Behemoth's head gets exposed and you can actually hit it. So you should take advantage of this to maximize your damage potential. This is really only for DPS goblins who want to hit their ceiling DPS. There is a reason you randomly see destroyers and breakers doing an absurd amount of damage compared to you, even though you may have a 100% back attack rate. This is because when the head breaks, the front attackers will always have the opportunity to hit the broken head for amplified damage. But now you know. Make sure to take advantage of that and make sure when you see the target on the head, that means it is available to attack and to go for it. It is a little risky though, so you know practice makes perfect. But once you get the hang of it, you will see that your DPS numbers do actually in fact go up a lot. All right, so that's it. Those were five unethical tips to MVP in Behemoth. Congrats on your Giga Chat certification. Woohoo! Enjoy the MVP for this week and other future weeks. And for my pineapple gang, thank you all so much for watching up until this point. The word of the day today is Giga Chad. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.